the stuffed chila, which is like a pancake made with chia seeds. We'll find out. One of my favorite things on this trip so far has been the food. The crunchy bowl, eggs berge with toast, French press. So figuring out the names of all the foods is like something I'm working on. There's a whole lot of bread involved, but I know there's a solution to this. So we got checked into the Rishikesh Vinyasa School of Yoga and the 200 hour course that I'm taking is at a facility up above the Hotel Krishna where we stayed. And the 300 hour course that Jason's taking is in a different building across uh, a creek. And his room is up on like a fourth floor. Uh, it's kind of a trash can like straight off of the porch. Not encouraged, but a healthy place for banana trees to grow. If you can see it right there. Boom, bananas growing wild. Now we got to figure out how to make our way back over to the original school and get checked in. They wanted like a 10% deposit when we booked the course. It was like $300, $300 down and then a thousand dollars cash roughly when we got here. Um, so kind of feels good to get that money out of the pack. Uh, it's just a little nerve wracking carrying it around. All right, back on the road. In 300 meters, turn left onto Tupoven Road. You want to go back up here? Turn right toward National Highway 7, then make a U-turn. Traffic is kind of slow right now. See those muscles on Jason? I was talking about how, how many pictures have you taken with random people? Oh, probably about eight so far. <laughs> and we're only two days in. <laughs> I got stopped twice last night. Last on your cruise? Yeah, well, cruise I got stopped twice. Pick, pick, pick. <laughs> the American biker dude. They all want muscles like that, but you can't get it with eating bread and Without vegetables bread. all day. Yeah. yeah, the cows aren't going being used properly. Oh, man. Head south on Laxman Jula Road, then turn right. Yeah. Looking out over the river. Do I come out over the river? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our journey was to make it to the phone store, which has been a bit of an issue till this point. So I came over here like a little bit unprepared and had to find a SIM card to work in my phone. Verizon offers what they call a travel plan. So every month you get one month of international unlimited calling, text and data and they build up over time. I had like nine days of that, and then it's $10 a day after that, but it didn't work very well. So I wanted to get an Altel SIM card. It was 700 rupees, which is about $10. And it gave me international, like Indian data calling and text. I can call internationally, but it is eight rupees per minute and I have to prepay the, the time. And I can't like do it with a card. We gotta find the kiosk. So this dude helped us out yesterday. Jason's getting set up with a new phone and a SIM and whatever. And I gotta add some international call time to it. What a journey. See, like I like to have little things to take care of when we get here. If you come too prepared, then what do you do all day except eat and like walk around and ooh and off. 
I need a mission, a purpose. Missing the good part. Manjula Bridge. It's been closed for construction for about a year. I really don't even know what's on the other side or how to get over there at this point. Oh, there's boats. Okay. Tapavan, which is a part of Rishikesh. Rishikesh, like the act prime, like proper city, is down the hills. But this is the Ganges River behind us, which is considered kind of a holy place. And there's lots of like rafting trips that come down it. And it's not foreign tourists, it's like Indian tourists. So for a person in the United States, I almost want to describe it as like the Gatlinburg of India. Gatlinburg, like in the mountains of Tennessee. I don't know, it's in a video at some point in the past or several. Um, yeah. It's a beautiful day out here. I really want to get in the river, but wearing pants for men is like kind of, shorts are kind of a taboo thing in most of the country. I mean, this is like tourist land and if you're swimming or at the beach, then they're acceptable. And all I brought was shorts, but I decided to try and follow the local customs and wear some pants, but it's also 90 degrees on June 1st, 2023. And then we're gonna head back up the mountain and like trying to navigate between the two different courses. It's quite complicated. That's the base of the Himalayas. You wanna go up there? That's a long walk. It's a long walk. I'll vouch for that. been discussing their construction techniques it seems like all of the bracing and even scaffolding is with like the hen hoon logs and then everything's done by hand most of the portland cement is hauled uphill on donkeys they'll bring a tractor with rocks in it and a tank full of water and mix all the concrete to build these buildings so we needed an air-conditioned spot for lunch found this just off the top of on road Strawberry lemonade, grilled cheese and potato sandwich, eggs, bergie, which I had for breakfast. I guess I'm on an egg kick today. And a mango smoothie, 
both in recycled glasses. And like, it's a pretty nice quiet spot considering there's like a thousand cars that have passed in the last 20 minutes all honking their horn. See all the water, the rain collection cisterns, and the rooftop garden, or what looks like was a rooftop garden. We're making our way back to the yoga school now. This is the view from the front of the school. As you can see, there's lots of fresh manure free from the streets. And here we are, the Rishikesh Vinyasa Yoga School. The Paya tree out front. And here's our entrance. Well, my friends, we've checked into the room. I guess I kind of matched the walls in here. Uh, it's nothing special. Um, the hotel room was a lot nicer. There's like a little area with a locker over there. Bathroom with the squirty thing, no toilet paper. Uh, there is a holder for toilet paper. I just, well, I was gifted some from my American friend. So we've checked into the school tonight. Dinner is at seven o'clock and Tomorrow morning we have breakfast and then the opening ceremony. So we've got another 24 days here at the school and we'll see what that turns into. What a day it's been. I'm tired. It's about six and it's net time. Technically it's like 7 a.m. in Texas. So, well, 5.30 p.m. here. All right, I've been staying up all night because that's like my normal day, but that'll probably end at some point, and then when we go back home, it'll take another two or three days to get my nights and days figured out. Anyways, y'all have a great night. Peace.